Well, Matt, three points, a clean sheet, a perfect afternoon here at the Parnham Bescott Stadium. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of it, for sure, we you want to get that second goal, of course you do. But um, listen, I, I. And brought up on one nil wins, and I absolutely love every single time that, that that's the scoreline. Does it come with, um, you know, the heart palpitations? Yeah, it does. Does it come with that risk at the end of it? Um, of course it does. But uh, listen, that I thought for every single person gave absolutely everything there today. I think the weather probably caught us a little bit unawares as well, because the, the, you know there were some tired, tired bodies with that little bit of extra heat that we haven't really had. Um, Priestley cramping up, Nolsey, the same. Um, and uh, I just thought it was a team effort from every single one of them, um, and including the ones that didn't play. I thought it was a fantastic performance. Could and should have scored more than we did, um, and and put it you know put it to bed. But what a fantastic goal to win the game. Um, so yeah, all in all, fantastic afternoon. Really good performance, and uh, yeah, a fully deserved three points. Do you feel like the game should have been out of sight at half-time? Because there was plenty of chances in that first half for us as a group. Yeah, plenty of chances, plenty of uh, territorial dominance, some really, really um, uh, some really good play uh, from our outside centre-half. So I thought Taylor Allen was tremendous with some of the delivery with his, with his left foot. Um, and we'd highlighted that, the one where Jammer gets in at the in between their left-sided centre-half and the left wing back was something we'd spoken about all week uh, that's an area to exploit for them and Taylor just puts the balls on a sixpence with that lovely left foot of his um, and we were lucky there there was a few others where we got behind him and I thought we spoke about it at half time it's just that final ball that final thing that final bit of ice in your veins situation because we got behind him um, numerous times um, and uh, we looked a real threat and then on the flip side of that I thought um, I thought our back lads um, were tremendous uh, we've really missed um, Priestley in the team and you could see why today um, hopefully now have another good weeks on the training pitch with Priestley um, to get him to that stage where he's not feeling that 80 couple of minutes but that's all. that was always what was going to happen it's always the risk and that's why Dave's coming um, I thought when Dave comes on and for a young kid and he's had cut his teeth but it's never a great scenario for any defender when you sat on the bench thinking right I'm coming on we're 1-0 up but he went and headed it he blocked it when he needed to um, so from 1-11 to 11, uh, plus the subs, what's that, 1-18, to 18, uh, plus the ones that weren't playing. I thought we were a, a proper team there today. I thought um, the fans drove us on, especially in that second half when we were, you know, we're, we're, we're kicking towards that at our end. Um, they really got behind us in what was tough conditions for the fans as well, because it was red hot, especially when that sun's beating down on that stand. Um, and uh, you know, I thought everyone together was united today. It was a fantastic team performance. Isaac Cutchison will quite rightly get a lot of applaud. It's a, it's a fantastic goal. But at the other end, Owen Evans didn't have to do too much, but makes two fantastic saves in that second half. Owen is, without doubt, in my opinion, one of the best um, in this division, certainly, and then probably another one above. Owen's a great, great keeper. Um, and in those scenarios, his reactions between him, Dan Watson, um, Jackson Smith, uh, and, you know, that... That um, that unit of defenders, they uh, sorry goalkeepers, they work on that day in day out. Those reactionary drills for those moments there, those key moments where it, where it counts. And then the next thing is, um, he's made that save, and then Donovan's there to clear it off the line, to clear it away, and that's what teams do. Um, Isaac's goal. Isaac's got that. Uh, he's got that in abundance, and we just want to see more and more and more of it because he's got it. Uh, what also I loved about Isaac's performance today. He's wearing everyone on the pitch. He's rightly, you know, tired. There's uh, the sun has beaten down on him for a long part of that game. There's tired bodies all over. He just seems to keep going. Um, the the engine on the kid is is unbelievable. So, um, yeah, keep going through him. I thought it was some fantastic performances today. <clears throat> you made a couple of changes to to start us off with Jamil Matt and like you said Priestley coming in. Jamil, I thought, put himself about an awful lot and the hard work sometimes doesn't go, doesn't get noticed and I thought he was brilliant today. I thought some of his hold-up play was fantastic. I thought um, he uh, he allowed us to get up the pitch, him, him and Freddie um, allowed us to get up the pitch and he was a, he's a handful. Listen, I've had so, so many opposition managers come in in games after me and say, what's going on with Jamil? You know, what a handful he is. And, and he is, he is that. Uh, and we played into him, um, like I say, nearly got him in for that goal with Taylor's delivery. Um, probably 
the one thing that I felt was missing from our play, like I've said, is that final ball. Um, and they're the ones that Jammer wants to feed off, them crossing the box where he, he bullies defenders and gets on the end of them. So, uh, a fantastic performance from him. Freddie as well, I thought he ran himself into the ground in there. Um, and he, he's a funny one. He looks like he's ready to, to curl over and um, then sort of he comes back to life again uh, and does something which you think, geez, that, you know, it's fantastic. So, everyone, as I say, including the fans, and I think there's um, a special mention to one of the fans who, who uh, was sadly taken ill during the game and our, all of our thoughts go um, with the supporter there and their family. I, I think, am I right saying that uh, he's potentially a stroke? Is that right? So, you know, for thoughts go with him. I hope he gets well soon and, and that's, you know, that's the Saddlers community. We want to make sure that, you know, protect our own and um, hopefully uh, he's in the best care now um, and can get that the, the help and support that he needs. But yeah, so thoughts go out to him and hopefully the lads did him proud today uh, as he does us proud with, you know, every week he's out there. And then final one, uh, my daughter's birthday today, five years old. Um, I had a special feeling that, that we'd win today because of that. And, uh, you know, it makes, makes that birthday meal all the more special tonight.